नमस्ते ऑल माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर शरण्या ए वी हैड कम्प्लीटेड आर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर क्वेश्चन पेपर डिस्कशन अप टू क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी सो हियर वी विल बी कंटिन्यूइंग आर डिस्कशन फ्रॉम क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी वन टू सिक्सटी क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी वन अकॉर्डिंग टू चरग भिन्ना श्लेष्म संसृष्ट गुरुवर्च प्रवर्तन अलोंग वित् कफ मेहस च आगम इज मेन्शन फॉर विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग सो हिय द क्लिनिकल फीचर भिन्ना श्लेष्म संसृष्ट गुरुवर्च प्रवर्तन इज सैट फॉर बोथ कफज ग्रहणी एंड श्लेष्मृत अपान बट द फीचर कफ मेहस च आगम इज स्पेसीफिकली मेन्शन only for shleshmavrata apana anyways in the revised key mark was given for both kafaja grahani and shleshmavrata apana question number 42 according to sharnadhara which of the following is the correct sequence of different layers of sura from top to bottom so the correct order from top to bottom is prasanna kadambari jagala medaga and vakkasa so the correct answer is option 1 and we can easily remember this order with a simple mnemonic pk james where s stands for surya bija which is a synonym for vakasa vakasa has synonyms like hrutsara surya bija kinvaga and also from top to bottom the consistency becomes more thicker so uh, frequently questions have been asked from sandhana kalpana so give it due importance question number 43 according to vagbhada bhavishyatah kushta samam is the lakshana of which of the following arbuta apachi visarpa vadarakta the correct answer is option 4 vadarakta this is a direct question from ashtanga hridaya vada shonida nidana and the context is vadarakta purva roopa Question number forty-four. Statement one says, according to Sushruta, wounded person may sleep in daytime. This is a wrong statement as Sushruta Acharya has contraindicated Diva Swapna for Vrana Yogi. Statement two says, if wounded person sleep in daytime, itching in wound, heaviness in body, redness and exudation all will subside. This is also a wrong statement. As and the correct statement would be if. a uh, wounded person sleep in daytime all these problems will arise so the correct answer is option 2 both statement 1 and statement 2 are incorrect so from this chapter sushruta sutra pranitopasani adhyaya the ahidachara and ahidahara for vrana yogi must be concentrated along with their complications question number 45 The National Ayush Mission Supraja stands for what? The correct answer is option two: healthy lifestyle through Ayush for maternal and neonatal intervention. Also, do go through the other public health programs under NAM like Vayo Mitra for geriatric patients, Ayur Vidya, which is for school children, and Karunya, which is an Ayush palliative service, etc. Question number forty-six. According to Sushruta, Bala Thaila is indicated in which of the following disease? Nasa Naha, Nasa Arbuda, Nasa Paka, Nasa Srava. The correct answer is option one, Nasa Naha. Sushruta Acharya has also mentioned that Nasa Naha is Neha Panam Pradhanam. So the most important treatment in Nasa Naha is Neha Panam, and also he has mentioned Bala Thaila, Sarva Thaiva, Ubayojya for. nasanaha question number 47 a sclera is the outermost coat of the eyeball this is a correct statement b it forms posterior physics of the outer coat of the eyeball this is also a correct statement while the anterior 1/6 of the outer coat is cornea c sclerocorneal junction is also called as limbus this is also a correct statement d sclera is also called as vascular coat this is a wrong statement as the vascular coat of the eye is uveal tract which comprises of the choroid the ciliary body and iris so the correct answer is option 1 a b and c are correct 
question number 48 according to charaka shukra nashana is the lakshana of madhura vipaka katu vipaka amla vipaka nishtha paka so the correct answer is option 3 amla vipaka we all know that madhura vipaka is shukrala that is it increases shukra while katu and amla vipaka decreases shukra but this question is very very specific and Charakacharya has used the term Shukranashana for Amla Vipaga and Shukraha for Katu Vipaga. Question number 49. Which of the following microorganism is majorly responsible for the condition farmer's lung? The correct answer is option 1. Micropolyspora feni. This question is from occupational health. So also go through the other occupational diseases like composed um, lung chemical workers lung, bird fanciers lung, asbestosis, silicosis, bisinosis, begasosis, etc. Question number 50. Pithara Paga Vada is accepted by Nyaya Darshana, Vaisheshika Darshana, Tarka, Samkhya Darshana. The correct answer is option 1, Nyaya Darshana. The various Vada accepted by different Darshana are very important. For example, Satkarya Vada accepted by Samkhya Darshana, Pilu Paga Vada accepted by Vaisheshika Darshana, Swabhava Uparama Vada accepted by Buddha as well as Charakacharya etc. All must be focused. Question number 51. A. Excessive intake of Madhura causes Sanyasa, Gandamala, Arbuda. B. Excessive intake of Katu causes Shukrakshaya, Balakshaya, Vyadhi in Kati Prashta. C. Excessive intake of Tikta causes Vada Yoga and Thadukshaya. And D. Excessive intake of Amla causes Kandu, Pandu, Visarpa. So the correct answer is option 2. So in this 2024 question paper itself till now we have seen two questions related to Shadrasa. One from Charagam Sutram and this question from Ashtanga Hridaya. So it is... Important to note that the properties, functions and excessive and feature of excessive intake of each rasa is very important. So make note of it in a tabular form and then learn. Question number 52. Under which Mahakashaya Charaga has included Arjuna? Jeevaniya, Shonida Sthavana, Hridya, Udarda Prashamana. The correct answer is option 4, Udarda Prashamana. So this is a direct question from Charakacharya's Mahakashaya. Question number 53. Statement 1 says adiposier change is the modified condition of decomposition in the dead body. This is a correct statement. Statement 2 says there is hydrolysis and hydrogenation of fatty acid in the presence of water in adiposier change. This is also a correct statement and the process explained in statement 2 is known as saponification which is another uh, an another name for adiposial formation so this process comes under late postmortem change so do note the immediate early and late postmortem changes all are three star question number 54 according to ashtanga hridaya consuming less or more quantity of food at improper time is known as Samashana, Vishamashana, Viruddhashana, Adhyashana. The correct answer is option 2, Vishamashana. This is a direct question from Ashtangarudaya, Matra Shidiya, Adhyaya. So when we look into the other options, uh, Samashana means taking an admixture of both Pathya and Apathya food. Viruddhashana is incompatible food combination and Adhyashana means consuming food before the previously taken meal is digested. Question number 55. According to Acharya Sushruta, which doshas are vitiated in alasa? Kapha vada, kapha rakta, kapha pitta, vada pitta. The correct answer is option 2, kapha and rakta. So, according to Sushruta Acharya, alasa roga is a jihwagada roga, for which he has mentioned uh, dosha predominance of Kapha and Rakta and Sushracharya has also mentioned the Roga Alasa in Kshudra Roga. He hasn't mentioned the Dosha predominance there but uh, in Dalhana commentary the Dosha predominance for 
alasa shudra roga is also kapha and rakta question number 56 scrotal tongue is the clinical feature of which one of the following disease down syndrome turner syndrome gotcher syndrome kleinfelter syndrome the correct answer is option 1 down syndrome so questions from chromosomal anomalies are quite common now so make a note of specific clinical features seen in various syndromes like simian crease in down syndrome webbed neck in turner syndrome etc question number 57 assertion it is generally advised to consume madhu by adding in the foods and drinks in varsharutu this is a correct statement reason vada pragopa occurs in varsharutu the reason is also correct but the reason doesn't justify the assertion correctly because madhu is vada pragopaga in nature but still madhu is used in varsharudu to overcome the kleda during varsharudu and this is the opinion of chakrapani datta so the correct answer is option 2 assertion and reason are true but reason is not the correct explanation for assertion question number 58 Kodha Pidaka Kandu Gandan are the classical manifestation of which of the following type of krimi as per Madhavanidana. Bahya Krimi, Shleshmaja Krimi, Rektaja Krimi, Purishaja Krimi. The correct answer is option 1, Bahya Krimi. Also uh, the number and classification of Krimi Roga and Krimi Chigilsa mentioned in Charagam Vimanam and Sushrila Uttara are also important. Question number 59. A. Indian Jalap, that is Trivrit. It belongs to Convolvulaceae family. B. Toothbrush tree, that is Pilu, belongs to Salvadoraceae family. C. Indian Oleander, that is Karavira, belongs to Aposinaceae family. And D. Ceylon Oak, belongs to Sapindaceae family. So the correct answer is option Question number 60. According to Acharya Kashyapa, which Prakriti is extra in Manasa Prakriti of Rajasa Sattva? Sarpa Sattva, Yaksha Sattva, Shakuna Sattva, Asura Sattva. The correct answer is option 2, Yaksha Sattva. Uh, Kashyapa Acharya has mentioned an extra Satvika Sattva that is Prajapati and an extra Rajasa Sattva that is Yaksha Sattva. So for Ashtanga Hridaya and Charaga, there are 16 sattva in total, whereas it is 18 for Kashyabhacharya. Thank you.